Hi, this is Nathan from Aimed Research, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can control two cameras with an external waveform generator. In a previous video I showed you how you could synchronize one camera with an external function generator. Um, in this video we're going to utilize two cameras and show you how you could essentially increase your frame rate for any given resolution with a two camera system, where both cameras are viewing an event and they are capturing frames 180 degrees out of sync from each other. So I'll refer you to the previous video on how you can set up your Kronos camera in the function generator uh, for those settings. In this video I'm simply going to show you the additional setting of your phase angle between channel 1 and channel 2 on the function generator and what that looks like when the cameras are both viewing a single event. So just to recap from a previous video, in this, in this case we're going to have channel 1 and channel 2 on. So the green LEDs. You want to make sure that your cables are not connected right now in case you might accidentally increase your amplitude voltage. Um, so we're going to be operating the cameras at full resolution. We want each of them to operate at 1,500 frames per second. So in that case we have, well, first of all, channel 1, square wave, frequency, 1.5 kilohertz, so that's 1,500 frames per second. Amplitude, voltage 5, offset 0, and then our duty cycle is going to be our exposure. And remember you want the invert function off in the trigger I.O. settings. So if your duty cycle is 20%, that's 20% of the 1.5 kilohertz pulse. So in this case, if you take 1 divided by 1,500 multiplied by 0.2, or 20%, 0 0.2, you get 133 microseconds, or 0.133 milliseconds. And for channel 1, we're going to have a phase angle of 0. And then if we jump over to channel 2, square wave, again, we have it set for 1.5 kilohertz, amplitude voltage of 5, offset 0. We're going to have the same duty cycle or exposure for, for the second channel camera. And our phase angle is going to be 180 degrees. So from 360 degrees, half of that would be 180. So the camera is going to be capturing frames 180 degrees out of phase. So when one camera between frames captured from channel, oh, sorry, from camera one, exactly 50% or in the middle of each frame capture of channel one, uh, camera two, channel two is going to be capturing a frame. So here I have camera one on the left, camera two on the right. On camera two I have the record settings menu open so you see that we're running at 720 HD. The frame rate is set a little bit higher than the, the signal generator at 1.502 kilohertz. Exposure does not matter. Again, that's controlled by your duty cycle. And then with the IO1 BNC trigger one settings, we have shutter gating, invert is off, debounce is off, and both of the cameras have duplicate settings here. So you can see that they're viewing the same event. Now I'm going to shut off the signal generator. You see that we have some weird artifacts on screen. It's simply because the camera is frozen in place. It's not receiving any signal. So it's not providing any frames. It's not capturing any frames for the live view. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the cameras in record mode. And we're going to turn on our signal generator. So the cameras are going to be capturing the same signal. And whenever I shut off the signal generator, the last frame for each camera will be stored in the memory. So I'm going to hit stop here and stop here. Now whenever we go to play back these videos, 
I'm gonna advance this camera one. One, two, three, four, five frames. One, two, three, four, five frames. So you'll notice that camera two has the fan blade advanced slightly beyond that middle line. And in camera one, it has not approached that middle line yet. So this shows you that I'm going to advance this once. And this actually goes past the point where camera two captured that frame. So that shows you that camera two is capturing a frame in between the time period when camera one was capturing frames. Do you see that? So now I'm going to do this to this camera here. So I'm going to go back, forward, back, forward. So compare these two spots in time forward. So as you can see, one camera was capturing the frame when the other camera was not. So with a setup like this, you could have both cameras operating on the same, same signal and do stereo imaging, capturing frames at the same time. If, as we had it set up, the cameras are set 180 degrees out of phase, then one camera is capturing a frame, the other camera, one camera, the other camera. So you could double your frame rate with a two camera setup over a one camera setup. Uh, that's typically, again, done with a beam splitter. If you need help getting materials for any of those types of projects or if you'd like to rent anything like that, just contact Aimed Research and answer any of your questions and provide you with any equipment that you need. Thanks for watching.